We begin today with Firewatch, an island usually associated with its blue and sunny skies is now engulfed in smoke and flames. Hundreds of evacuations are underway on the Hawaiian island of Maui. KSBY News reporter Kimberly Cruz spoke with experts to give us perspective on this wildfire and joins us now live with more. Kimberly? Well, good evening, Claudia. Earlier today this afternoon, Hawaiian officials held a press briefing where they provided new updates on the fire. Now, among those details, they mentioned they have not officially started investigating the cause of the fire, but experts say there are some factors that played a big role in fluing flu flu these flames. It's just a nightmare for the unfortunate people there right now. It's a nightmare. Not many residents on the island expected. It. it happened so fast. Um, I've never been in any environment where I could be around a fire like that. We were just sitting at home kind of having a Hawaiian snow day is what we call it. When you see the fire, when the fire started, I, I heard the first explosions of the gas stations exploding. And then I saw the black smoke a couple, like a couple streets away and within half an hour we were out the door. The National Weather Service had issued a red flag warning for the area, indicating factors like low humidity and high winds posed a threat. The smoke even on some of the satellite images coming out there this morning, you can just see kind of that layer of smoke coming out of the Lahaina area. It's in western portions of Maui, which means there's a couple of added additional issues with that, especially because it is on a drier part of the island. The strong winds playing a bigger influence on the fire. With these grasses that have dried out and then we have uh, the winds from Hurricane Dora which are frankly like what we experienced with the uh, Santa Ana winds in California It's just these uh, winds are being pushed through into buildings and towns as they head down uh, towards the ocean they compress they heat up they speed up and they make it really tricky for those firefighters we see that here on the central coast when we see those winds coming over hills becoming really erratic with those winds when we fight wildfires here and they're facing pretty much the same thing. According to officials, the strong winds have also knocked out power on parts of the island. Now, I also reached out to the Central Regional California Red Cross branch, and they tell me they are in communication with the Hawaii Red Cross team to understand what the local needs are, but at this time have not sent anyone out there to help. In the studio, Kimberly Cruz, KSBY News. Thank you, Kimberly. In a press conference this afternoon, Hawaiian officials confirmed at least six deaths. They also added it's still early on to know the exact number of fatalities and homes or structures lost.